Blink kicks off with a parade in about 90 minutes now, which of course you will see right here on WCPO 9. The extravaganza takes months of planning. We know that eight days and nights to build it. And anchor Evan Millward takes us behind the scenes with a lighting designer here for a homecoming and a view of Blink you'll only see here. Here is our command central for the entire uh, operation here. So basically we can choose any sort of light that's out here and we can choose, you know, what color, what shape, what type of movement it has. Lighting designer David Seitz is bringing the Black Music Walk of Fame to life in light. I'm in charge of everything that's down here in the banks. There are more than 150 lights like these at the banks alone, a fraction of more than 500 lights across the city for Blink. We could come here and say, okay, all of these lights that are here, we can now go and say that they're blue. Yeah. Now if you peer over, everything is now yeah. suddenly blue. It takes days to build the rigs and some overnights to program. So I've been working on Blink since um, originally in 2017. For this UC CCM alumnus from Dallas, it's a chance to see the city in a new light. Now coming back every two to three years has just been incredible to see what they've done further. I mean, this this pavilion, all of this stuff down here on the banks is, is so new and, and cool. Before you can enjoy all of this, it takes a city within a city. People like David and dozens, more than a hundred others working overnight to bring Blink to light and it all starts here. This is very likely the largest number of projectors that we have out on a given project at one time in a year. Matt Homan's in charge of coordinating those, the lights and the crews. It's his first Blink. They told me to get ready. That's because there are 74 projectors, thousands of miles of cable. It took 13 semis to get them here. We're in the basement of the Great American Ballpark. Frank Roggio runs the show here. These are brand new, never been used before, the latest technology, right? Yes, these are brand new LED light engine fixtures that we have been the launch partner with Verilight on, and this is the first show that we're using them on. And they work in bad weather. That's something else new. Which is why they're on a metal cart instead of in a box. These lights are bound for David Seitz's Golden Garden display at the Walk of Fame nearby. For a lot of people, this is their first taste and first glimpse into what the downtown has to offer. And I think, you know, using that opportunity to show some of this off is, is incredibly smart. Of course, that was Evan Millward there. You know, if you were wondering, Evan says, yes, everyone who has worked so hard on this vampire shift really the past week will get some time to go explore the city and see the festival as well. But they're already starting to plan on how to tear it all down. They have, in fact, just two days to get it all done when Blink wraps up. And there is some excitement already gathering downtown. We want to toss it over to Valerie Lyons. Valerie, this is your first time at Blink. What's it like, at least so far? Well, there's a new energy here downtown. Um, we got some parade participants right here walking by and we've got, you know, people just coming down here. Some of them two hours early ahead of this parade with their lawn chairs camping out along the side of the street so they can get the best view possible like this family right here. We've got June, Jerry, Kevin and the little ones right here. You guys were here bright and early. You wanted the best spot. How excited are you? We are so excited. We've been here for every other Blink Parade and we can't wait for this one. This is Kate's third and Maggie's second. Maggie's second. You guys excited? Yeah? yeah. Very excited. What are you guys looking forward to? Um, what are we looking forward to? Well, lights. I like, lights, I like yeah. anything with lights in it. Sparkles, lights, all of it. All right. Well. They are not the only ones like you guys see. People are lining up. People are getting excited. Remember, roads do close at 630 here ahead of the 730 start for the parade. So if you want to get down here, you got to get down here fast. Throwing it back to you guys. All right, Valerie, thank you. You know, she just mentioned there the road closure issues. Yeah, that's going to be the big thing to watch for. Traffic downtown will be heavily impacted by the parade and celebrations. Take a look at the map here with me. It shows the parade route along Fifth Avenue. It runs between Broadway and Central. More information on bus routes, parking, road closures can all be found over on our website wcpo.com and on our wcpo9 app if you download that you'll have all this information in the palm of your hand wcpo9 is the official media sponsor of blink tonight we'll have the live coverage of the blink kickoff parade which starts at 7 30 and a behind the scenes look at this year's festival as well adrian and jen will lead our coverage that coverage actually starts at 7 30 minutes before the parade starts and will last through the end of the parade